this tutorial I'll be going through with you um, a stock called Walt Disney Company just type in Google as Walt Disney stock and uh, this information will appear and you can see that the name of the stock is Walt Disney Company from Google and it's a dis TIS is a symbol of the stock of Nasdaq and it's 141.71 US dollar for one stock on 22nd of August and uh, you can see the market cap is in billions which means it's a big size firm and the dividend yield is 1.24 percent so um, companies that pay dividend that means that they are financially very strong that's brilliant because after paying their loans creditors liabilities they still have extra money left that extra money they pay to shareholders as dividends um, even though the percentage is very small but still that's extra money that means that the firm is very strong financially so it's brilliant um, now I want to have a look when was this founded in 1923 you can simply go to Wikipedia and you can find this box here and you can see that it's founded in 1923 and um, now I want to go back and see what the employees think about this firm who worked there so what I'll do is I'll just copy this exactly from Google I'll paste it here I'll type in indeed reviews and let's see what employees have to say about it and um, I can see we have nearly 4700 reviews and it's 4.1 star which is brilliant and um, just go through the reviews yourself the pros and cons and everything what's what people like about this what they don't like about this and uh, stuff like that and uh, check out the salaries that uh, Walt Disney Company is paying to their employees the photos the jobs and the questions and please go to uh, Glassdoor as well to see the reviews um, and I'll just click there and you can see that um, you can see that there are 3,900 reviews. Uh, no, sorry, 5,000 reviews and um, 3.8 star. That's brilliant. And please read through the pros and cons yourself. What people like about this firm and stuff like that. Please check out the jobs they have listed, the salaries they are paying, the interview questions, the benefits they are giving to their employees, and the inside pictures as well. Now let me go to JSTA patents and see if it has any patents or not. Let me search it in the search bar and click enter and I can only see one patent in 1995 of this firm and um, which is brilliant and um, so the more patents a firm have the more stronger it is but this firm has a patent one patent and it's in 1995 they don't have any recent patents so since 1995 over like nearly 20 years they don't have any patents um, so you know why they don't have recent patents that's something to think about because that means they're still are they still innovating or have they left innovation so that's something to question so let me see if I just type it in and I just remove this part and press oh, enter yes so I can see that um, the patents appear so if I see Walt Disney Productions, so that's also Walt Disney Company, right? And uh, that's part of Walt Disney, yes. So in 1983, they have a patent. Then Walt Disney Computer Software has a patent in 1990, okay? And um, then Walt Disney Company has in 1992, 1992, 1993. So they have a lot of patents. So, um have a lot of patents but do they have any recent patents that's what you have to look 2015 16 17 18 do they have any recent patents because are they still innovating that's very important for us to know and it's a big list so go through it yourself please and um, I just want to point out that we are not interested in inventor because these are people who invented but they don't have full rights please look for assignee or applicant because these are people who have full rights of the patent and um, so just go through the um, thing list yourself it's a big list the more patents a firm has the more stronger it is in the market and it has a competitive edge so that's brilliant that means the company is very strong so that's brilliant and just go through it yourself now i'm gonna go to yahoo finance and i want to see if they have any key executives let's click here and click here and um, I want to see which one to click because there are so many symbols so what I do is I just paste it in Google and I see the Nasdaq symbol it's DIS that's the one I'm looking at so please click DIS and uh, go to profile and um, sector industry full-time employees now 
what I want to show you is that all the key executives have been shown and all the servers have been shown that's brilliant because the, the more information we have the more transparency there is they have shown all the salaries that's brilliant and there's a lot of transparency and it builds trust so that's brilliant let's go to macro trend and see uh, what ratios they have let's go to price ratio and price book ratio and paste in or type in the symbol a DIS for Disney and I'll show you briefly about this if the price if the price book ratio is less than one that means stock is very cheap it's undervalued and it's very cheap and it's a bargain you must buy at that time if it's less than one if it's more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets right now it's right now it's 2.42 which means stock is 2.42 times more expensive right now but uh, if I see in uh, 2019 March it's 1.9 which means stock is 1.9 more expensive so somebody who buys in 2019 March they paid $111 $111 to buy something that was only $58 worth you can just see where it's really up um, you know so it was nearly twice more expensive but uh, it's most expensive in um, 2017 March when it was 3.7 times more expensive. If you just see vertically up, uh, somebody who bought that time in 2017 March, they paid $109 to buy something that was only $29 worth. So it was a lot more expensive. But the cheapest it was since we have the data in 2009 March when it was it it was a bar it was a bargain because it's less than one price book ratio so it was a sale there like 13 percent off somebody who bought that time they got 13 percent sale of which means they paid 15 dollars to buy something that was 18 dollars worth so they got a sale that time but right now it's uh 2.42 times more expensive so you need to be careful if you want to wait for a while or you want to buy right now it's up to you let's go to other ratios and see current ratio in current ratio I just want to point out if the ratio is less than one that means stock is very risky because um, you know liabilities are more than assets which is not a good news if it's less than one if it's 1.5 or more than that that means stock is safe and the higher the number um, you know if it's more than 1.5 that's brilliant let's have a look right now it's less than one that means that the stock is dangerous because the liabilities are more than assets you can just see vertically up the liabilities are more than assets and in 2018 um, the assets and liabilities are similar but we don't have the margin of safety we are looking for 1.5 or more than that and if I just go back as well it's fluctuating I'm not getting 1.5 or more than that for it to be safe so I would say this is a risky stock and many times um, it's a very risky stock because um, the liabilities are more than assets so you need to be careful with that let's go to debt equity ratio this ratio will tell me if the company is mainly operating on debt or equity I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that right now it's less than 0.5 so it's a safe stock in terms of debt let's look at the previous one it's a safe stock let's look at the previous one yes so consistently I can see that since we have data 2005 up till now recent 14 years it's always been 0.5 or less than that so it's a safe stock consistently since 14 years um, in terms of debt so that's brilliant let's go to return equity I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be brilliant yes it is more than 8% it's brilliant let's look at the previous trends as well since 2005 up till now 14 years since recent 14 years it has been consistently 8% or more than that that's brilliant